Section 6.4 is on elimination using multiplication. In the last section, we looked at elimination using addition and subtraction. And in all of those examples, the coefficients of one of the variables were either the same or the opposites. But that isn't always going to be the case. If the coefficients of one of the variables are not the same or opposites, then we need to multiply one or possibly even both of the equations by some number to make them the same or opposites. Let's take a look at a couple examples and see how this is going to work. So the directions say solve each system using elimination. So I have 6x minus 2y equals 10 and 3x minus 7y equals negative 19. You'll notice that the coefficients of x are 6 and 3 and those are not the same or opposites. And the coefficients of y are negative 2 and negative 7 and those are not the same or opposites. So I can't just add these two equations or subtract these two equations and eliminate one of the variables. What I need to do is multiply one or both of the equations by something to make the coefficients the same or opposites. And to be honest, I prefer to have them opposites because then I can add the two equations. It's just a little bit easier to solve. So noticing, looking at the, my coefficients of x, 6 and 3, and think about the relationship between those two numbers. If I were to multiply this 3 by a negative 2, that would give me a negative 6, and then I would have opposites. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the second equation by a negative 2. So when I distribute that, it's going to give me a negative 6x, and then when I add the two equations, that's going to eliminate my x's. So that equation becomes negative 6x plus 14y equals 38, distributing a negative 2 three times. And then let's just put our original equation on top. And now I have two equations where the coefficients of x are opposites to each other. So I can add those two equations and my x's cancel out, my x's are eliminated, which is really cool. So let's continue on. Negative 2y plus 14y gives me a 12y. 10 plus 38 is 48. And then dividing both sides by 12, I get y equals 4. Now, to find what x is, remember I'm going to substitute this into either of the equations. I could actually do it in either of the original equations or even this one here that I multiplied by a negative 2. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to find the simplest one possible, which might be the first equation, and I'll plug it into there. So that's going to give me 6x <clears throat> minus 2 times 4 equals 10 or 6x minus 8 equals 10, adding 8 to both sides. My eight, negative 8 and 8 cancel out. 6x equals 18, and dividing both sides by 6, I get x equals 3. Remember to write your final answer as an ordered pair, 3 comma 4. So in this section, we're taking a look at some examples where we have to use multiplication in order to get the coefficients of one of the variable, variables same or opposite. In our second example here, I have 6x plus 2y equals 2. 4x plus 3y equals 8. And again, I don't have the same or opposite coefficients. My coefficients of x are 6 and 4. My coefficients of y are 2 and 3. And thinking about the relationship between the two numbers, um, 4 doesn't go, I can't multiply 4 by anything to get 6, and I can't multiply 2 by anything to get 3. So this is a case where I'm going to have to multiply both of the equations by a number. And it can be two different numbers. I kind of like my y's here. I kind of like the 2 and the 3 because they're a little bit smaller numbers. So I think what I'm going to do is take my first equation and I'm going to multiply that by a negative 3. So that's going to turn this y into a negative 6y. And then if I take my second equation and I multiply it by a positive 2, it's going to turn this y into a positive 6. Okay? So you just need to think about where you want to be. I want to have a positive of one number and a negative of the same number. So I'm 
decided in this case, to, I could have done my x's, but I decided to do my y's. I like numbers that are a little bit smaller. And I wanted one of, since they were both positive, I wanted one to be positive and one to be negative. So I multiplied 2y times a negative 3, that's going to give me a negative 6. 2 times 3y is going to give me a positive 6. So let's go ahead and distribute and take a look at those two equations. So negative 18x minus 6y equals negative 6, and 8x plus 6y equals 16. Make sure you distribute that number to all three terms in the equation. Okay, now my coefficients of y are opposites of each other, so I'm going to go ahead and add those two equations. So eight, negative 18x plus 8x is going to give me a positive, a negative 10x. My y's cancel each other out, and negative 6 plus 16 gives me a positive 10. Dividing both sides by negative 10, x is equal to a negative 1, <clears throat> and I want to substitute that back into one of my equations, and I'm going to use one of my original equations because they're smaller numbers. Maybe this time I'll use the second one, although I could have used the first one. So that's going to give me 4 times negative 1 plus 3y equals 8, or negative 4 plus 3y equals 8, adding 4 to both sides gives me 3y equals 12, and dividing by 3, y is equal to 4 for a final answer of negative 1, comma, 4. So in this example, we had to multiply both equations by some number in order to get the coefficients, in this case, of y to be opposites. And let's take a look at our last example here, which is a word problem from your textbook. So this one says, a field goal is three points, and the extra point after a touchdown is one point. In a recent postseason, Adam Vinatieri of the Indianapolis Colts he's a kicker, made a total of 21 field goals and extra point kicks for a total of 49 points. Find the number of field goals and the extra points that he made. Sounds pretty confusing, but let's start as we always do by defining our variables. We're going to have an x and we're going to have a y, but what are those going to stand for? Read the last line of the problem. Find the number of field goals and the number of extra points. So I'm going to start by saying let x equal the number of field goals, because that's one of the things I need to find, and let y equal the number of extra points. Okay, how did I know what to let x and y equal? You read the last statement or question of the problem and that's going to tell you what you're trying to find. So I need to know the number of field goals and the number of extra points. Okay, let's go back and look at the problem again. It says that he made a total of 21 field goals and extra point kicks. So the total number of field goals plus the total number of extra points is 21. Well, the number of field goals is x, the number of extra points is y, and when I add those together, there were a total of 21 of those. Okay, now altogether, his field goals and extra points came out to a total of 49 points. Here I have to go back to the first sentence of the problem and where it says a field goal is worth three points. So every field goal, which is x, is worth three points. And an extra point after a touchdown is one point. And every extra point is one point. So three points for every field goal and one point for every extra point when I add those points together, it gives me a total of 49 points. Okay, And actually, the one in front of that second y is a little redundant, so I think I'll just get rid of that. OK, so here's my system of equations. Now I need to solve this. Um, I could do uh, multiplication, but I'm noticing that the coefficients of y are the same. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is actually, I just to make this a little bit easier, I don't really like subtracting. So I'm going to multiply the second one by a negative 1. What that's going to do is give me a negative y here. So x plus y equals 21. 
and negative 3x minus y equals negative 49. You actually have a lot of freedom in how you want to solve an equation. In this case I decided to multiply one of them by a negative one to make it a little bit easier because now I can add x minus 3x is going to give me a negative 2x. My y's will cancel out and 21 minus 49 is going to give me a negative 28. Okay, now divide both sides by negative 2 and x equals 14. Now to find y, take that and substitute it into, I'm going to go into this equation right here because that seems to be the easiest one. 14 is, x is 14 plus y equals 21 and subtracting 14 from each side y is equal to 7. Now I'm not going to answer, write my answer as an ordered pair because we're not really talking about where two lines cross each other, we're talking about the number of field goals and the number of extra points. So x was the number of field goals, so he made 14 field goals, and y is the number of extra points, he made 7 extra points. And that's the way my final answer needs to look for this problem because I basically need to answer the question. Okay? In this section we took a look at elimination, solving a system of equations using elimination in which we have to multiply one or both of the equations by some number in order to have the same or opposite coefficients so that we can add or subtract them and eliminate one of the variables.